So as you see, my beloved brothers and sisters, the Prophet Sallallahu has made it very clear that Islam is based upon justice. Justice because those who harm us are either doing it intentionally or unintentionally, but we have the right to defend ourselves and to protect ourselves from harm. And this is why there are so many examples that are cited in the books of fiqh and in the books of hadith as well, explaining this beautiful hadith. I give you one more example. If a person has children and doesn't get along with one or two of his children and decides he wants to give more in terms of inheritance to a specific child in order to block another child, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala steps in and prohibits that. And he says, you're not allowed to do this because you're, you want to harm one when Allah decided what to give that person and you're trying to actually get away from it. So Allah says, you're not allowed to do this. The same would apply if a person uh, were to try and harm someone else in any way whatsoever. You can think of so many examples. La darara wa la dirar. Just remember this, that we don't harm intentionally or unintentionally. And we don't allow harm as well, intentionally or unintentionally. We have to, as Muslims, be from among those who save others from harm. So much so that the reward of protecting another person from harm is so great that one could earn entry into Jannah simply by protecting others from harm.